in general it's her backhand that she hits the hardest and goes for her winners from that side do you know she has been playing very well she's uh, built up her confidence as she said from working with uh, uh, Mervyn Rose and uh, she's tried to be more aggressive the players are talking a lot these days about adding to their games and just in that last point we saw sellers coming into the net but they talk about it in virtually every press conference how are you going to do something different how are you going to come into the net and you hardly ever see it but there are little tiny signs of it and she was so proud in Barcelona when we saw her recently at the Olympic Games accepting her bronze medal in the singles Capriati it was she lost to in a marvelous match three sets in front of the Queen and you know there was so much pressure on her in Barcelona and it's almost as if since that's been over the monkey has been lifted off her back she has been a much better player in the last few weeks she went straight from Barcelona she struggled in Los Angeles she's much, she must have been very tired and lost to Monica there but then she came right back and beat her the next week so that's really paid off her hard work and of course Celeste unable to play in the Olympic Games because she was not prepared to turn out for Yugoslavia in the Federation Cup and that was a precondition well now I wonder Thank if you. this young lady can break the Celis serve. She's done it once when she was 5-1 down in the first Ready set. And it was the Rancho Sanchez who upset Steffi Graf. And let's not forget, of course, that she won a silver medal. Did uh, Sanchez Seat with uh, Martinez in the doubles. Yeah, too many. please lives into Mary Jo and Gigi Fernandez, no relation, the Americans. Tracy Austin, who has been doing commentary here for the USA Network all through the tournament, sitting down in the past champions box there. bubbly personality loved wherever she goes around the world Sanchez Vicario and a great advert for women's tennis well they're not missing by much but an inch is enough isn't it has been in progress now for exactly one hour. And this time Arantxa actually finding her way into the net and she is a very competent volleyer. She plays very good doubles these days. One of the best of the doubles players. thinking Please. there combination of shots the drop shot is the weapon that most people like to use against Celis who's really not very much of a vod
and those relentless pounding drives which seem to cling to the lines at times taking her to 3-1 and unless Sanchez Vicario can find a new dimension somewhere she's going to be a loser in her first US Open final The difficulty, John, is that you really feel if you've got any sort of chance against somebody like Monica, you've got to start off right at the beginning of the match because they're going to build confidence and just come up with shots like that last one. <laughs> and then you start going for just a little bit too much. Handed shot. 15, more and more you see her do that when she's forced wide. One of the things, incidentally, she was practicing with her father earlier. Sellers, but the serve seemed to me to clip the line. and two breaks of serve and the great fight that we expected not materializing because Celis is preventing Sanchez from having the balls on which she can attack and create those openings which she's done in the previous matches and you know asking around the players and uh, people who know the women's game it was interesting today to get a reaction because an awful lot of people said I think Sanchez Vicario can win and I must say that I would, was uh, inclined to agree, except that I didn't think that Monica would lose twice in a row to somebody. You know, her record is so incredible. She's hardly ever lost more than uh, once to uh, any player. There are only a, a handful of players that, that she has lost twice to. This tournament has been full of upsets from the women's side. You usually think that the women's side goes pretty much according to plan but they had Martina Navratilova losing in the second round uh, Capriati lost in the third round to Patricia He in a very good match Patricia He has been playing very good tennis she's uh, from Canada Sabatini lost to Mary Jo Fernandez in the quarterfinals she really having not played enough since Wimbledon she just played the one tournament in San Diego and lost there early on and uh, of course Steffi Graf played really a sort of a almost a lackluster uh, quarterfinal against uh, Arantxa Sanchez who was very buoyant in that uh, match Please take a seat. so it has not gone according to plan and this match is as you say not quite the contest we thought it might be quite please all because of the skill you, of this young lady what a player when she won here last year you know Celis that was her fourth Thank Grand Slam you. title in just nine events and nobody's done that before it took uh, Chris Everett for instance uh, 13 tournaments before she captured her fourth and Steffi needed 17 Steffi Graf Good, I think. <laughs> 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 
little kiss of the racket. And this shot is a good one here. Monica comes back with a pretty good shot. Really, it should have been very effective, but that little soft hand as she hit the half volley helped her out. But back live, and Celis has recovered the situation. 15 all. A good serve. This is what I was meaning, those half-court situations which Sanchez can exploit have been very few and far between. Making Sellers wait here, this is deliberate. she convert one of these two break points wasn't a bad idea was it to bring her forward but the drop shot really wasn't good enough and telegraphed so Sellers had lots bye of bye time Break point saved. No, it's on the line. And this has been a good series of uh, three points here for Monica Sellers. She knows what she has to do with that one, and she just goes into a very small area with tremendous pace. And you can feel a certain sympathy for Sanchez. I'm hardly able to watch now what has become really a rout, but it's all because of the extreme confidence Thank and skill of points. this remarkable 18-year-old born in Novi Sad, Yugoslavia. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Five points. One five. Was the Rancho Sanchez who upset Steffi Graf? And let's not forget, of course, that she won a silver medal, did uh, Sanchez with uh, Martinez in the doubles. Yeah, too many. Five, please. Losing to Mary Jo and Gigi Fernandez, no relation, the Americans. And, you know, there was so much pressure on her in Barcelona, and it's almost as if since that's been over, 
the monkey has been lifted off her back. She has been a much better player in the last few weeks. She went straight from Barcelona. She struggled in Los Angeles. She's mu she must have been very tired and lost to Monica there. But then she came right back and beat her the next week. So that's really paid off her hard work. And of course, Celeste. In general, it's her backhand that she hits the hardest and goes for her winners from that side. Do you know, she has been playing very well. She's uh, built up her confidence, as she said, from working with uh, uh, Mervyn Rose. And uh, she's tried to be more aggressive. The players are talking a lot these days about adding to their games. And just in that last point, we saw Sellers coming into the net. Unable to play in the Olympic Games because she was not prepared to turn out for Yugoslavia in the Federation Cup, and that was a precondition. Well, now, I wonder if this young lady can break the Celis serve. She's done it once when she was 5-1 down in the first set. And it, but they talk about it in virtually every press conference. How are you going to do something different? How are you going to come into the net? And you hardly ever see it, but there are little tiny signs of it. And she was so proud in Barcelona when we saw her recently at the Olympic Games, accepting her bronze medal in the singles. Capriati it was. She lost to in a marvellous match, three sets, in front of the Queen. 